And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. And a look at the 11 for Leverkusen. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. going to forge ahead and a goal now they've broken through one nil here well as you can see it's a really good pass from Royce and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish Royce. Oh now, Alain reading it well. Oh my goodness, he's caught that so well. A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. Karim Adeyemi. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And there! And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Twenty minutes to go in this one. And he's through here. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The end of the game then, officially, and a victory for the Schwarz-Gelben. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.